Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today in this video I'm gonna show, how to dual boot Windows 11 on PC, with pre-installed macOS Sequoia. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and stay connected for the latest updates. So without further ado, let's get started. For this dual boot guide, you'll require a PC with pre-installed macOS Sequoia. To install macOS Sequoia on PC, follow the guide for my button. At least 100 GB of free disk space on your Mac drive, for Windows 11 installation. A USB with a minimum 16 GB capacity, and a working internet connection. Now, firstly we'll allocate disk space for Windows installation. For that, open Disk Utility. Here, click on View, and then select Show All Devices, and now select your main drive instead of any partition, and then click on Partition. Here, click on Plus button, and then click on Add Partition from the prompt window. Here you can change the size of the disk, allocate the size according to your need, also make sure to create unequal partitions, for better recognition of the Windows partition. And now, click on Apply, and proceed with the prompts, and wait till the partitioning is done. After partitioning is done, click on Done, and now, plug your USB, and erase it with following parameters. After the disk is erased, close Disk Utility. And now, you'll need to download Windows 11 ISO, and also will need to install Homebrew and Vimlib to create the USB. Download the Windows 11 ISO from the official Microsoft site as shown. While the ISO is being downloaded, install Homebrew, and Vimlib. To install Homebrew, open Terminal, and then execute the following command. You can also get the command from Homebrew site. Here, press Enter to continue. After the Homebrew is installed, it's time to install Vimlib. To install Vimlib, execute the following command in Terminal. After Vimlib is installed, and Windows 11 ISO is downloaded, mount the downloaded Windows 11 ISO, and then copy all the files and folders except the Sources folder, and paste it to your USB. After the files are copied to your USB, create a folder named Sources in your USB, and then copy all the files and folders from the Sources folder of the ISO, except the install.vim file and paste it to the created sources folder in the USB.
After the files are copied to the sources folder of the USB, now it's time to split the install.vim file, and then copy it to the USB. Splitting the vim file is required as the FAT format doesn't allow copying more than 4 GB to the disk. Now type the following command in the terminal. After entering the following command, drag install.vim to the terminal window, from the ISO sources folder. And now, just drag the sources folder from your USB, and then type the following command. After entering the command, press the Enter key, and the Vim file will be split and copied. After the splitting and copying is done, quit terminal. And now it's time to install Windows 11. Now reboot your PC, and boot to boot menu. From the boot menu, select the USB, and press enter to boot. Now select your language and keyboard layout and click on Next. From Setup option, select I would like to install Windows 11, and then check the box, and click on Next. Here. If you have a Windows 11 product key, fill it in and then click on Next. Otherwise click on, I don't have a product key. From the operating system list, select the OS you want to install and then click on Next. Now accept the license terms. Now here, select the partition you created for installing Windows, usually it will be the last partition of the disk. After selecting the disk, click on Delete Partition. After the partition is unallocated, select it, and then click on Next. If you get this error, click on OK, and then refresh the list. Now select the appropriate unallocated space partition, and click on Next and then click on Install. And in a while Windows will be installed.
Now set up your Windows 11 according to your preference. At this point, you need not to connect to the internet, if you connect, it will download and update the Windows right away, which may lead BSOD. So, to skip this, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard to invoke the CMD window. Now in the CMD window, execute the following command. And now, again set up your windows according to your preferences, without connecting to the internet. After reaching the Windows 11 desktop plug your Ethernet, or connect to Internet using Wi-Fi. After that, open settings and then go to the Windows Update tab and then check for updates and install all the updates available. And restart, if needed. After installing all the updates, close settings, and then restart your PC, and boot to the BIOS.
in BIOS set the first boot option as per your preference. And now you can boot either of the OS using boot menu, or using the open core boot menu. Finally, everything is done, and as you can see, macOS Sequoia is booting successfully. Now it's time to boot to the Windows. And as you can see, Windows 11 is also running, and the dual boot has been configured on the PC successfully. So that was it. Hope it was useful, consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.